Hello. We are going to use this word problem uh, to solve using a partial quotient strategy. Feel free to pause this video anytime you need to um, and as we go through the process and replay it if you need to. So Madison picked 96 apples and put them into four baskets. Each basket had an equal number of apples. How many apples were in each basket? Let's go ahead and underline the important details. Maybe I should select my pen first. Here we go. 96 apples is certainly important. They're going to go into four baskets. And each basket, equal number of apples. How many apples? each basket. Okay, so when you set up to solve using the partial quotient strategy, uh, it's a little bit like the standard division algorithm where you set up a garage, we call it. So let's make our little garage here. We will go ahead and we will put the divisor the divisor are the groups we're going to make them into right out here. And the, the dividend is the number of apples we're going to make groups from. In the partial quotient strategy, you draw a vertical line. And what this line will do is it will give you an area on the outside of it to use for your partial quotients, quotient being the answer. So, okay, we have 96 apples, and we're going to make four even groups out of them with our baskets. So let's go ahead and talk about what multiplication might help us. Well, we know that 1 times 4 equals 4, 2 times 4 equals 8, and so on and so forth. We also know that 10 times 4 equals 40. So let's start with this one right here. This equation being, if I put 10 apples in each of the four baskets, I will have organized 40 of those apples. So now we're going to take these 40 apples away from the 96 we had total, and we're going to end up with a number of 56 apples left. So I could actually use this again and take 10 more apples into each of the four baskets, which will have me use up another 40 of those apples. And then I'll subtract them from the apples that I haven't divided into baskets yet. And I end up with 16 apples left. Now, if I was to continue with this, 1 times 4 equals 4, 2 times 4 equals 8, and so on and for, so forth, what would be a multiplication equation that could get me to 16? You are correct. 4 times 4 equals 16. So if I put 4 more apples in each of the 4 baskets, I am going to use the last of my 16 apples here. And now I have no apples remaining. Now, the reason they call this the partial quotients is because there are partial answers here. First, I put 10 apples in each of the four baskets. Then I put another 10 apples in each of the four baskets. And then I took the remaining 16, and I put four apples in each of the four baskets. And when you add that up, 10 the first time, 10 the second time, and 4 you end up with 24 apples in each of the baskets. So your answer is 24 apples in each, and I'm still getting used to writing with this pen, of the four baskets. 
Now I want to go ahead and I want to check my division equation here, my partial strategy with a multiplication strategy. So I'll come over here and I'll take the quotient 24 and I'll multiply it by the divisor and if it's correct I should come up with 24 times 4 equals 96. We're going to use the recording strategy here uh, which means we will not be regrouping anything up here. 4 times 4 equals 16. Now 2 times 4 equals 8, but since this 2 is in the tens column, it's really 20, because this would be a 0 here. So there's 20 times 4 equals 80. Now I'm going to add these two together. And there you have it. There's my dividend, so we are correct. All right, so this was an overview of the partial quotient strategy right here, where these are my partial quotients, and then I checked it with multiplication right here. So go ahead and get a piece of paper, and what I'd like you to do is these two problems. Solve them and bring them into your teacher tomorrow to have them checked. 72 divided by 3 and 84 divided by 6. And if you really want to get some extra credit, go ahead and write me a word problem. Write your teacher a word problem for both of these equations. Thank you, and I hope you have enjoyed. Remember, you can replay this as much as you'd like.